Hello my brothers and sisters, hope you're doing well. Today what was on my heart was the story of Job and how God allowed the things to happen to Job and how the devil went to God and said to him, you know, Job is only faithful because you built a hedge around him, you've given him everything that he needs, everything that he wants. And so God said, okay, well, you know, you can do whatever you want to Job, just do not kill him. So what happened with Job was everything was taken away from him and even he was covered with boils. He had sickness. He had physical sickness. He lost his farms. He lost his family. He lost his wealth. He lost whatever looks he had because he was physically ill. And he was he was being cursed by his own family. They even told him, curse God and die. You know, what did you do that you deserve this? Why did God do this to you? And Job said, you know, the Lord gives and the Lord takes. And that's true. You know, like we talked about before, we have seasons in life. We have good seasons, we have bad seasons, and we all have them. But the, going back to Job, you know, Job was faithful. He was a great servant of God. So why would God do this to him? The simple answer is this, that God can. Remember, God's will, His ways are higher than ours. His thoughts are higher than ours. So here's a man who's faithful, good servant, great servant in Job, and God decided to allow this to happen to him. And there are so many people that I'm talking to on here and in, in life in general where people are saying, you know, why did I deserve this? I didn't do anything. And you don't have to do anything for God to do what he wants. Especially as a believer, if you are a believer in Christ, you will get tested. Your faith will get tested. Rest assured, you will get tested. You will get put through the fire. But Job remained faithful, and that's what we have to do when we go through trials, where we might lose everything. Remember, God allowed this. God is in control, not the devil. The devil is the tempter. The devil is a liar. The devil will look to hurt you to destroy to eat you up. And the Bible says God does not tempt with evil. God is not a tempter. Now people would say, well, you know, it's kind of contradicting. You know, God is using the devil to tempt, so isn't he not tempting? No. God cannot be tempted with evil. God does not bring lust into our life. But he will allow the test, and he will allow you to go through the trials, and he will allow you to go through the fire. It might be to test your faith, it might be for something else. We don't always know. But if he did it to Job, he can do it to you and to me, and he has done it to me. That I could rest assured you, he has put me through the fire and put me through the test. But we need to be like Job and be strong and to say that the Lord gives and the Lord takes whatever God's will will be it's not always easy sometimes I'll be honest and tell you that it's not always easy to go through tough times no it's not easy you know at one point Job even uh, questioned the Lord what are you doing well, why why and God uh, basically let him have it and say you know who's this speaking to me without words without counsel without knowledge I should say who are you are you somebody hello God, who are you? Oh, yeah. I created you. I'm the creator. I created you. Are you the one to tell the, the sun to set? Are you the one to set the stars? Do you calm the oceans? This is, he went on for, for a chapter telling Job, who are you? I, did you do this? Did you, were you there when the, the earth was created? No. Now, it's not fun to go through these trials. It's not fun to experience them but then at the end of the day God is in control and we must trust that we must trust his timing we must trust his purpose just as Job did he said his own family told him to curse God and die his own family told him to die so if you're going through a trial and if you're not you might will you might find yourself in one soon God willing you won't but be like Job and be faithful and be strong and be trusting in the Lord and trusting his timing and his purpose. I guess he did question him at one point and I think we 
We've all questioned God, but we, can, we really cannot. That's the point. We cannot. We cannot question God. We might do it literally and say, God, why? But at the end of the day, we cannot question the Lord. So if you're going through the trial, be like Job. And know that God is in control. And God does give. And God does take. And the world is His and everything in it. If He wants to put you through that test or trial, He's going to. And almost consider it a compliment. Because God knows you can handle it. It might always not seem that we do, but we can handle it. But He, he, he knows. You know, God gives His greatest test to His greatest students. God does not have favorites, no, but He knows who can handle certain things and who cannot. So my brothers and sisters, and thank you for watching. Like I said, be like Job. And remember, God gives and God takes. There are seasons in life too. If you're going through a hard time, it's not over. It will get better. The peaks and valleys are up and down. And God will get you through the trials. Because He wants the glory. Have a blessed evening. I love you all.